the mail's here. What'd you get? Let's see. Gary, 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 Gary. Hey, a magazine! That's funny. I don't remember subscribing to Fancy Living Digest. Whoa. Look at these glossy depictions of a higher standard of living. This guy's so rich, he has a swimming pool in his swimming pool. This guy's got shoes. Give me that. Stealing my mail, eh? You're lucky I don't report you to the authorities. Hey, Squidward, how do the people in that magazine get all that money? They're entrepreneurs. They sell things to people. What kind of things? How should I know? Things people want to buy. Now, keep your paws off my mail. That's it, Patrick. We got to become entrepreneurs. Is that going to hurt? Quick, Patrick, without thinking. If you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? Uh, more time for thinking. No, something real, an item, something you would pay for. A chocolate bar? That's a great idea, Pat. We'll be traveling chocolate bar salesmen. Fancy living? Here we come. Make way for a couple of entrepreneurs. Okay, Patrick, this is it. The first step on our road to living fancy. Just follow my lead. What? Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 Okay, the first guy didn't count. This is our real first step. Good morning, sir. Would you like to buy some chocolate? Chocolate bars, eh? Yes, sir. We are chocolate bar salesmen. <laughs> Couple of mediocre salesmen, if you ask me. That's no way to carry your merchandise. No, 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 no. Wrong. You guys want to be good salesmen, right? Oh, yeah. most certainly, certainly, sir. Well, no self-respecting candy bar salesman would be caught dead without one of these. Wow. What is it? It's a candy bar bag, you knucklehead. It's specially designed to cradle each candy bar in velvet-lined comfort. But <laughs> I'm wasting my time. You don't need these bags. We need them! We need them! We need them. We need them. So long, boys. Happy hunting. <laughs> Suckers. Fancy living. Here we come. <laughs> Let's try next door. Yes? Huh? Say, weren't you the same guy who sold us these candy bar bags? I don't recall. But it looks to me like you fellas have got a lot of bags there. You two lady killers are too smart to be without one of my patented candy bar bag carrying bags. We'll take 20. What can I do for you two nice young men? We're selling chocolate bars. Would you like to buy one? That sounds heavenly. I'll take one. One chocolate bar coming up. Doing so well, Patrick. We need a new approach, a new tactic. <sighs> I got it. Let's get naked. No, let's save that for when we're selling real estate. There must be something. What was the reason we bought those bags? He said we were mediocre. That's it. He made us feel special. Yeah, he did. I'm going back to buy more bags. No, wait, Patrick. Why don't we try being nice? Oh, okay. Remember, Patrick, flatter the customer. Make him feel good. Hello? I love you. I think you laid it on a teensy bit thick there, old pal. Let me try. Please, go away. Um, <clears throat> how, how you doing? How am I doing? Wanna buy some chocolate? We got him now! Sorry, chocolate has sugar, and sugar turns to bubbling fat. Isn't that right, lover boy? <laughs> it tickles. As you can see, me and chocolate no longer hang. You can keep that for five bucks. 
I'll take ten. We haven't sold one chocolate bar. I have a feeling we're too easily distracted. Huh? Let's make a pact right now that we will stay focused on selling at the next house. What? Let's shake on it. Did you say something? Remember, Patrick, focus. Yes? Good afternoon, sir. We're selling chocolate bars. Why is Chubby here staring at me? Focusing. Back up, Jack. <laughs> nice place you got here. I can't understand what we're doing wrong. I can't understand anything. There must be something to this selling game that we're just not getting. Other people do it. I mean, look at that. Eat barnacle chips. They're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. Yet they sell millions of bags a day. Well, maybe if they didn't stretch the truth, they wouldn't sell as many. That's it, Patrick. We've got to stretch the truth. Chocolate! We'll work as a team. Let me get this customer warmed up, and then you coming for the kill. The kill. Yes? Hello, young lady. <laughs> We're selling chocolate. Is your mother home? Mom! What? What? What's all that yelling? You just can't wait for me to die, can you? They're selling chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah! What? What are they selling? Chocolate! What? Chocolate! I can't hear you! They're selling chocolate! They're selling chocolate? Yeah! Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Oh, but this chocolate's not for eating. It's for... You rub it on your skin, and it makes you live forever. No, no. Live no, forever, no. you say? I'll take one. Come on, you lazy Mary. Start rubbing me with that chocolate. I hate you. If we keep exaggerating the truth, we'll be fancy living in no time. Hooray for lying! It'll make your hair grow. Great. My wife's trying to grow a beard. They'll make you sound smart. I'll take 20. It'll keep your face from getting any uglier. Just in time. They make you fly. You'll fall in love. They'll bring world peace. You'll walk through walls. You'll rule the world. <laughs> this will be the best lie yet. Yeah, this guy will feel so sorry for us. He'll have to buy all of our chocolate. What can I do for you boys? Hello, sir. Would you like to buy a chocolate bar? We need an operation. Really? Small world. What's the matter with you guys? Uh, we got some head trauma and eternal bleeding. Uh, some guys have all the luck. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs. And every afternoon I break my arms. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Oh, no! No! Ow. Oh. Quick, Patrick, let's help him. Careful. Put him down gently. Oh. Poor, poor man. If there's anything, anything we can do to help you. There is one thing, as you can well imagine. My medical bills are extremely high, but luckily I'm able to keep myself alive by selling chocolate bars. Such nice boys. It does my heart good to con a couple of class A suckeroonies like those two. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, Patrick. It's great that we helped that guy out, but there's no one left in town to sell chocolate bars to. <sighs> Whoa! Let's face it, Patrick. We're failures. I can live with that. Let's change our names to Why and Bother. Chocolate! No, 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 I've been trying to catch you boys all day! Now that I've got you right where I want you, I'd like to buy all your chocolate.
Thank you for your patronage. Are we living the fancy life yet, SpongeBob? Not yet, Pally. First, we gotta spend all the money. But what are we gonna spend it on? Hmm. Good evening, sir. Table for one, please. Sorry, but the whole restaurant has been rented to a private party. But it's my only night to be fancy. Who could afford to rent out the whole restaurant? Oh, a couple of rich entrepreneurs and their dates. So, how long have you two ladies known each other? What? What did he say?